Welcome back. So now that we can actually add a customer, that's perfect. We also need to be able to update a customer, right? So I think it's time for us to start looking into the code for doing exactly that. And now let's just have a look at our code right now. Now we could start using the add customer and change it with NGF and stuff like that to kind of figure out if we should update or add a new customer. But I think it's just simpler to add a new component. So we're going to add a new component right here, ng generate a component, and let's just call it under the customers folder, we're going to call it customer update, just to keep the same naming as the add. We'll add this right here and we get a new subfolder, customer update, and here we go, we have the new files. And we are going. the update is going to be kind of a combination of a few different areas. So first of all, we need a way to kind of hit the update somehow, right? So we need a way to get to the update page. And for that, we need a few things. First of all, I think it's a good idea to get an actual update button right here, right next to each customer. So I've gone into the customer list HTML right here. And uh, there I'm going to add uh, just a button that has a route link. And that route link is actually going to redirect me to slash customers update and then slash and then the actual ID of the customer, just like we did when we kind of wanted to go to the details, because now we need to find the actual customer we want to update, right? So let's just put that in here as well. And then we'll just call it update. There we go. Let's save that and just have a look at, um, at the actual setup. Before we do that, let's just have a look because customer update is not available in our routing. So I think it should add that before we start moving into the other parts. So I'll just kind of make a new path right here. I'm going to copy the one from the details because I need the ID again, just like before I need to send the ID inside the update request. So let's just, if we hit this route, we're going to the customer update component. There we go. So now the route is also set up. Let's just save that. And um, that should be all we have to do. Let's try it out. Now notice right here, we're getting an update button and it doesn't look that pretty. We'll figure some CSS and some styling later using some different frameworks. So just live with this for now. You have an update button that actually refers to each of your dis different customers right now. And that's the goal, right? So when I click this, I go to customer works. And if you look up here, it actually added the right URL with the right ID as well. Sweet. Let's try and click the other one. Same idea. It hit the right URL with the right ID. So perfect. Now we need to do a lot more, so let's just continue in the next lesson. Have fun.